Welcome design students. In this video I want to talk to you about text reveals using After Effects. Now at this point we've worked with After Effects for a little bit. We've made some compositions, we've worked with text layers, we've worked with shape layers, we've animated some parameters, and we've even worked with masks a little bit. But in this lesson I want to talk to you specifically about text reveals using masks. And I want to demonstrate to you some of the things you can do using this technique. And at the end of this lesson I want you to create your own text reveal animation. So let's get started. So I'm going to create a brand new project and I'm going to be using the standard workspace. To find your workspaces you need to come up come over to window and make sure that the tools is checked. If it's not you won't see that selection. And I'm going to create a new composition. Now the first thing I'm going to create in this composition is a solid layer. I'm going to right click here and create new solid. And solid layers are used for layer blending and for just background colors and things like that. So I think I'm going to darken up this solid a little bit. And to do that I can't do anything down here. The setting is not there. I need to come up to layer solid settings and then I can change the color by clicking on the swatch. So I'm going to start with a text layer. To do that I'm just going to click the text tool and simply type the word crime. And then I'm going to use the align tools which I have over here to align it to the center of the space. If you don't see them you can come up to your window menu and click align. And I want to call your attention to something else here. You know already that we can animate things left and right. So I'm going to open up the crime layer here. Open up the text. Sorry. Open up the transform settings. And the position here is X or Y and X. But in After Effects we can also animate in Z space. We can make this a 3D layer. And to do that, you have to click one of these three buttons right here. And this is the one you click to make it a 3D layer. Another interesting thing you can do here is also create motion blur if you check this one. Now, this particular um, text animation I'm going to show you is what I saw on television the other night. Notice now we have settings in the Z direction. We have the anchor point that has a Z setting. The position has a Z and the rotation and scale have Z. So when we change the Z setting you can see that it zooms in and out. We also have a gizmo here that we can use to rotate and scale and move it. So I'm going to uh, create two more text layers. And we're going to select my text tool. It's already selected. I'm going to click and type in true. and line that up in the center. Oops. I didn't want to line that up in the center that way, just there. And then I'm going to duplicate this layer. To duplicate any layer you hit Command D. And then I'm going to move it and hold down Shift while I do and that locks it into the axis that I'm moving. And I'm going to change this by double clicking on it. And clicking again, typing in stories. And then I'm going to select all three of these layers and align them center vertically. Oops, can't do that. So then I'm just going to move them over using the move tool so they're in the center more. And now I'm going to create the mask for each of the true and stories words. So I'm going to click stories, I'm going to get the rectangle mask tool and create a mask. And then I'm going to take that mask, get the move tool, and I'm going to move it holding down shift so that it is with the crime word right here. Then I'm going to select the uh, true layer and do the same thing. Use the move tool to grab this mask 
holding down shift and move it so that it is over the crime word. Now we can't see these anymore because the masks are actually hiding them. So what I need to do with each one of these masks is invert them. Now what I want to happen here is I want both of these words to appear from behind the crime word and you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. I'm going to move this crime word over just a little bit. Now if I select the stories uh, layer and use the transform tool to change the X position here, you can see that the mask moves with it. I want the uh, word to move independent of the mask. So what I need to do to make that happen is I need to add an animation to the text directly. To do that, you can see right here next to the text is an animate button. If I click that little switch there, I can add a position animator to the text. And then by changing its X position, I can get what I want. Now notice also how the um, edge of this is very sharp. I might not want it to look like that. I can change that by opening up the mask settings and adding a little feather to it. And that softens up that edge a little bit. Not too much. Maybe about seven or eight pixels. And I'll do the same to the true layer on its mask. I'll just type in eight. And I'm, while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and add a position animator to the text. Now, I want to start these um, pieces of text hidden here. So I'm going to use the position animation to pull them underneath the crime word. I'll do the same thing with the stories. And now I want to animate the Z position of crime so that it zooms into the scene zooms into the frame. So I'm going to just select that layer and I'm going to hit P on my keyboard so I don't have to bring up all of the settings. I just want position. I'm going to animate the Z position so that it is beyond the camera like that. Then I'm going to turn on the watch and I'm going to move forward a few frames and I'm going to animate that back so that it's back where it was in the frame. And then I'm going to open up the true layer and check the animation there and see how it lines up. I think that looks just fine. So now what we have is this animation. Oops, looks like it needs to be a little further out. So I'm going to move it a little further out. There we go. And let's play this and see what it looks like. And that looks great, except I think I want these to be easy ease, or at least I want this one to be an ease. So I'm going to change it to easy ease using the keyframe assistant. And let's see what that looks like. All right, so now after this comes into the frame, we want the uh, position of the text to we want true to slide out this way and stories to slide out that way. So I'm going to open up, close the mask layer, and I'm going to open up true, and I'm going to um, move forward a few frames so I can start animating here, and I'm going to put a keyframe for the position of each one. And then I'm going to animate the exposition of true stories to go out this way. Actually, wait a minute. I need to move forward a few frames. Always don't forget that. Animate stories coming out this way. And I'm going to animate true coming out this way. And this is what we have. So this is a really great text reveal. I think it's really dynamic and cool. I would probably check the font for true and stories. 
And just to make it look a little different, I would probably make that some other font, just so it's not the same. And that looks pretty cool. So um, that's one way to reveal text using masks. And in the next video, I'll show you a couple more. And I'll see you then.